My name is Vicki Hodge. I'm principal at Baxter Elementary. I'm here to talk a little bit about social emotional learning today. I'm Lou Pondolfino, the principal at the King Career Center, and I wanted to talk a little bit about how SEL applies to high school students and particularly uh, at a career and technical education facility like ours. My name is Pamela Orm. I'm the Social Studies Curriculum Coordinator of the Anchorage School District. Social emotional learning is caring about the whole child. In order to really teach students about social emotional learning, in the Anchorage School District we have 15 standards that address, that really help us to be able to teach students about how to manage their emotions, how to be self-aware, and then how to interact in a positive way with others and within their community. And so when we start out the year, we start out by really focusing on self-awareness. Help students figure out what are they good at? Are they good at sports? Do they have a talent for art or music? Or are they academically excellent? Do they have skills in reading or math? What are their interests? All of these play a part in really being able to identify who these students are and help them to be aware of themselves. Then the second standard that we focus on, or the second quadrant we focus on, is the area of self-management. And that has to do with how students manage their own emotions. Are they able to identify their feelings? Do they understand when they're starting to get that feeling of frustration or anger? Can they be able to articulate what that feeling is? So if they're frustrated about an assignment, they don't know what to do, are they able to say, I'm feeling frustrated right now, I don't understand what I need to do, or if they have a problem on the playground, are they able to come in from recess and say, I'm feeling really angry right now. Then the next area that we want we focus on is in the area of social awareness. So getting beyond themselves. How are students able to look at another person? Are they able to show empathy for that person? Are they able to really be able to look at them in a way that they are accepting of their feelings and their emotions? And so how do they interact with others? Are they able to look at social cues? And if somebody's looking very mad at them, are they gonna just go on and on and on? Or are they going to be able to say, oh, I need to take a pause here and, be, and really hear what this other person is saying to me? And so that, that is all about being socially aware. So teaching students how they interact with others. We focus on face-to-face uh, communication skills, working with people and for people, and I think that high school students interact best with each other and with their teachers and with industry when they have that real life experience. So our students get off campus, they go into jobs and careers and practice those skills. And I think it's all tied into social emotional learning. Um, how to relate to people and how to present yourself in a way that's effective and it's what employers want. And we focus our attention uh, on nurturing those skills with young people. In the spring, the Anchorage School District adopted the Common Core State Standards. The Common Core added a new dimension to our standards with the goal to produce 21st century skills and prepare students for success in their lives. We are no longer being guided by just reading and writing standards, there's a complexity of social and emotional skills that need to be taught. As we start to unpack these new standards, we found a clear correlation between the Common Core and social and emotional learning. We've just produced a new second grade reader for social studies. It focuses on the city of Anchorage. In the process of unpacking this new Common Core standard, our teachers found a naturally strong correlation between the Common Core and social and emotional learning. We have highlighted this connection in the lessons that support this reader. Through our alignment, we have learned from our teachers the benefit of the building block support that social and emotional learning provides and how together they produce strong outcomes in the classroom. We recognize that components of social and emotional learning provide a clear foundation for students to successfully achieve the Common Core Standards. Let's look quickly at one second grade example. Common Core Writing 2.3. It states, the student will write narratives in which they recount a well-elaborated event or short sequence of events. 
Include details to describe actions, thoughts, and feelings. Use temporal words to signal event order and provide a sense of closure. Now let's look at social emotional learning, self-awareness, I am. Students demonstrate awareness of their emotions. Recognize and label emotions and feelings. Describe their emotions and the situations that cause them. It's clear these directly support students' ability to complete this writing task. It also guides the teachers in terms of class discussions. These natural correlations between Common Core standards help guide teachers through step-by-step -step implementation and will afford our students a strong foundation of social and emotional skills that will support their growth and development for success in life. Social management is another quadrant that we focus on, and what that has to do is students learning how to have positive relationships with others and how they can be a friend. We really need to teach students about how, if you want to have friends, how do you make a friend and how do you keep a friend? And having those positive relationships with others, it has to do with respect, talking to people respectfully, talking to people in a way, treating people in a way that they would like to be treated. And it also has to do with being able to resolve conflicts. We all know that we have conflicts every day, and it has to do with how we handle those conflicts. Are we going to get mad and walk away, or are we going to try to work it out? One of the ways that we teach students about handling conflicts is through Kelso's Choices. And that is a way that, particularly for the primary students, we talk to them about for specific situations that arise and then how they could have handled that situation differently. For example, if a student gets um, pushes another student, what could they have done differently? Could they have walked away? Could they have ignored what made them upset? Could they have told an adult? Could they have talked it out with the student? These are all ways that students can think about other choices they can make other than to react in a negative way by either yelling at the person or by shoving them or getting into a physical altercation. The K-12 focus in the Anchorage School District on SEL is important. In, in, in high school, we see it as the culminating step for preparing students for business and industry and careers and post-secondary education. We realize the importance of SEL we know that employers insist on employees having those skills. We know students will be more successful in post-secondary uh, endeavors, both technical schools, colleges, or directly into the workforce if they have strong SEL skills. So we'll continue to focus on building those skills in our students. And so really social-emotional learning really is it's teaching students how to be self-aware, how to manage their own emotions, how to meet their social and emotional needs. And then when we've done that, we have happy learners, we have students that can focus on academics because they're not sidetracked with a lot of other issues. And in because of that, our test scores are higher. We have noticed a definite difference in our academic achievement. We have less office referrals. We have a positive school climate where students treat each other respectfully. And it's interesting because of having done this program and, or this method of teaching for now seven years in this building, how our students that have been here, when we have new students come in, they train them, they teach them the matrix, they teach them the expectations. And so because of that, we can get students within, become a part of our school climate and they just meld in and they are successful. And so social emotional learning is making a difference for the students at Baxter. We believe students are better adjusted and more engaged in, in uh, their academics and in school in general if they have strong social emotional learning skills. Sometimes we think that academic achievement precedes those skills and sometimes those skills precede academic achievement, but they go hand in hand. And if we have a well-rounded student, we know that their chances of success academically go up substantially.